it's not just why American hydroponics, it's really why hydroponics. Um, our systems here are NFT. Uh, the, the water is 100% recycled. So that's what makes it such a sustainable method of growing with this crazy water problem we have in California. Hydroponics doesn't have that sort of issue, right? Because you have this setup right here, this water is continually going around and continually being reused and reused and reused. Hydroponics is absolutely not just more sustainable, but more productive. So you have in such a small space, for example, what this system right here can produce in this small area would have taken something almost 10 times as large in a dirt situation. For every one acre of dirt, you can produce 10 acres worth of the same amount of produce hydroponically. We've shipped to over 55 countries in the last three years alone. So that tells you right there that people are starting to look at hydroponics and go, okay, wait a second. This makes sense, not just here in California where we produce a lot of, of the, the nation's produce, but worldwide. So American Hydroponics, first of all, was founded by Michael Christian, and it was founded over 30 years ago. So we're not just this new fly-by-night company. National Geographic in 2014 put out a big issue, devoted an entire issue to the fact that I, I think it was by the year 2050, there'll be nine billion mouths to feed. And all the research is showing the current method of feeding our population simply is not sustainable at all. Hydroponics is a very sustainable way, and Michael saw this vision years ago. We have no desire to open a great big farm and ship it all over the country. That goes completely, completely opposite of what we're about. We're about communities growing their own food feeding their own people and working with their neighbors to, to produce something that, that benefits their community. Not only will it produce vegetables right there, but it's giving villagers um, a, a, a living. So they'll come in and they'll have a greenhouse that'll be a couple of times as large as this right here. They'll farm that greenhouse, they'll sell that produce to um, a, a grocery store that's their local and any of the rest of it then goes to feed their family directly. That's our vision, is to bring local community produce back to the community. What we produce here is designed to, to last through hard, hard stuff whether it be disaster relief, whether it be community, greenhouse, growing, whatever it is, it's designed to last for a long, long time. That's what we want so people can get really good at what they're growing and grow it for a long time in their community.